Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Python Plays Terraria Let's Play. We're on the 47th episode, my friends, and we are starting the mini sort of uh, class playthrough episode thing. So today, we are going to be using a summoner set. So as you can see, I've set out these four chests right here, each with the different things, and we're going to go along from left to right until we get to the final 50th episode. So here we go. We're going to put on the Stardust armor, my friends. We're going to have this badass dude following us around. We have ourselves a Xeno staff. We have ourselves a crystal staff, and you know what? Somewhere around, I should still have a dragon staff. I've just remembered. Uh, anyways, I have been busy since the last episode, my friends. I've been busy trying to locate the NPCs in such places where they would serve the most use to me. So, for example, I have the witch doctor inside of the jungle biome, and the reason why this is such a good thing is because he sells some summoner related accessories, or a summoner related accessory, I think. I think, anyway. I can't remember, it's been a long time since I've done anything summoner related. But yeah, as you can see, we've got ourselves a dragon, so let's see how long he can go. Ooh, this guy's badass! I don't know how many segments he currently has, but oh my god, he's pretty damn long, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, wow, okay, and then obviously we've got this uh, turret style thing, which does 293 damage. This thing does 78 times however many segments he has. And then, of course, we've got the Xeno staff. Uh, I tell you what, I'll have a couple of Xeno dudes along with the dragon. Oh, boy, this is going to be awesome. Wait, can I not have more than one of them? Huh, I only appear to be able to have one. Interesting, interesting. But, yeah, we're making our way over to the jungle where I have constructed a little base for the witch doctor. So let's go ahead and go inside here, my friends. A good day to you, sir. And what are you selling for me today? Oh my. You don't have anything useful to me, apparently. Alright, summons a tiki spirit. That's not exactly useful to our cause now, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. I think we have to come back here in the daytime. So do you know what? We're going to do exactly that. We're going to skip the night and we're going to visit him in the daytime. Alrighty guys, I did a bit of a research sort of spree and it turns out there's a very strange prerequisite for the Witch Doctor in that if you have the Pygmy staff in your inventory, then that is when he sells all the stuff. So as you can see, we've got the Hercules Beetle, the Tiki Armor, which is not going to be very useful to our course, so we're not going to buy that. And when it becomes nighttime, there is of course another accessory he does sell, which is the necklace. So yeah, for now, we can head back home and we can see what we can do with this stuff. We have a necromantic scroll and we have the Hercules Beetle. Now, can we combine these into something awesome? That is the question, isn't it? There we go, the Papyrus Scarab. There it is, look at that. Increases max number of minions, increases the damage and knockback of your minions too. Ooh, very, very nice. And also, I can make the Destroyer Emblem, which is the Eye of the Golem, plus this. It is a sacrifice of a few percent of damage, but if I get Menacing, it's only a sacrifice of 2%. And as you can see, we've got Angry already, so it's only a sacrifice of 3%. So, do you know what? I'm pretty happy with that, my friends. I'm pretty damn happy with that. Ah, oh, yeah. Alright, buddy. So here's what you're going to do for me, right? Okay, you're going to give me Angry or something. Hasty, Intrepid... Violent, rash, hasty. There we go, buddy. That's what I like to see up in here. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, 346 damage. God damn. That's a crazy amount. And also, I discovered that I have enough uh, bars, as well as the drill containment unit, to actually make myself a solar flare hammock, which will completely eradicate the need for the pwn hammer, and also give us an axe, finally, because I feel like it's been a while since I've actually had an axe in my inventory. <laughs> Apart from the pickaxe axe, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's put that in there. There we go, buddies. And as I mentioned in the previous episodes, we need to go ahead and make ourselves a surface mushroom biome. Which is why I've also made a house down in the mushroom biome down here. So we can get ourselves a dryad and thus a bunch of mushroom grass seeds. So let's do a bit of a montage of me making a surface mushroom biome, shall we? Well, hello there, Miss Dryad. Hello. What you got for me today? You got me some mushroom grass seeds. B-E-A, beautiful. Give me some of that. Ah, oh, freaking yeah. I've just realized as well, if I buy some purification powder and I go down to hell, I should be able to get the tax collector NPC. Do you know what? That wasn't even a thing I was attempting to do today, but do you know what? Since the Dryad sells that stuff, I'm going to go find myself a tortured soul. Oh, here he is, my friends. I found him. Purification powder, boom, go! Yeah, we got ourselves a new NPC! First time I've ever had the tax collector, my friends. 
just came from Ralph's. He wanted to know if I took credit cards. Ha! <laughs> Lol. Alright, sweet! So, we now have a tax collector NPC. So, let's find a place for him. You can go... Oh, that's the wrong person. I was meaning to put him in there. Ah, uh, why not? You can go in that... You can go in that room with a frost chest then. I mean, why not, man? Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, back to the mushroom. Here we go, my friends. The mushroom biome has been created, and it's looking pretty dang badass. So in terms of the location, I literally just sort of segregated an area, and it's it's just a mushroom biome. That's that's really the fact of the matter. It's pretty much right next to the arena. So, yeah, it's all looking good. All right, so all we need to do now is just create ourselves a house thing. Yes, little house thing. Shouldn't be that difficult, should it now? All right. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bang, boom. Alright. So, yeah, this is all we're doing. We're just creating a house for the eventual truffle to spawn in. And then we'll have an auto hammer machine. And then we'll be good to go. So, yeah. Let's get this thing rolling, friend. Holy moly. My dragon has been going to work. Look at the amount of gold he's blooming dropped me. <laughs> all I've done is build. And yet all of this stuff is here. Wow, that's crazy. My dragon is actually, like, completely wrecking crap up. <laughs> Brilliant. But yeah, as you can see, guys, the truffles house has now been made. So all we need to do now is just wait for him to spawn in. And then, of course, just do a bunch of mushroom farming. So, yeah, this is this sure is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, man. But I tell you what, I tell you what. In the meantime, I'd quite like to try out the Moon Lord. I'd quite like to try out the Moon Lord on... Well, on, on here, and I want to see how far we can get, if, if if at all, you know, far. You know, those sentences didn't really go well, but we're just going to do it, man. We're just going to do it. We're just going to go absolutely ham -bony on these guys. We need to go ahead and get as many of these peeps going as possible. There we go. We'll have two of them, and then the rest of it can be used with dragons. Oh, my God. Look at the size of the dragon, man. And then we've got 346 damage here. Oh, man. If we can't do this, then I'm going to be quite surprised. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh, there we go. I mean, and, of course, we can have some more dragons because of the bewitching. You and what, Army? Hey, look at that, man. I got an achievement. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even expect that. Eh, why not, man? Why the heck not? So, ooh, cheese or no cheese? Cheese or no cheese? I'd like to say no cheese for these fights simply because I want to see just how good my peeps are. So, hmm. I mean, my definition of cheese is literally just hanging around here and using the nurse. I might use the nurse once or twice if I absolutely have to, but I'd like to try and avoid doing it if I can. All right, and buff. Come on, buds. What we gotta do is leg it. What we gotta do is leg it. I mean, this is pretty much what the Moon Lord consists of in, uh, in Summoner sort of mode. You just need to avoid him. That really is the fact of the matter, and obviously when his uh, lasers come around, his freaking lasers, you just need to avoid them, I guess. Alright. Obviously, it would be kind of nice if his eye, his top eye, could, like, die. That kind of rhymed, didn't it? I didn't even intend it to. Oh, well. Oh, God damn! That hurt a lot. Hmm. Okay. Ah. Uh, let's try and avoid people. Hi! I love you, too. I love you too. Ow. Okie doke. Ow. Okay, this isn't looking so good, actually. We're not looking so hot right now. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, man. I'm hoping... I'm hoping I can get to the nurse. Oh, nursey. What's the chances? Whoa. I just about avoided him. Oh, he seems a bit mad, bro. He does seem a bit mad. I can't get to him. Ah, oh, god damn it. God freaking god damn it. Oh, man. I couldn't reach the nurse. I was clung onto the wrong part of that building and I couldn't cling onto her. 
God freaking damn it. Oh man, I don't even know. I don't even know. That's that's the problem. I didn't even know how close or how far away I was from killing the Moon Lord there. But that really is just what you do. In summoner mode, that's all you do. You just fly around and you try to avoid him. And before you guys say that the UFO would help, no it wouldn't. Because the UFO offers absolutely nowhere near as much in terms of movement speed as the wings do. So that is will shut up you naysayers the ufo isn't everything so yeah i would have much preferred using the wings in that fight so yeah anyways not too bad man not too bad i mean the dragon was doing a very nice amount of damage but i feel like i was too far away from the dude to actually do any damage to him so maybe that was my downfall right there I don't know. Maybe a uh, summoner, not not summoner potion. Uh, what's it called? An iron skin potion. Maybe that would have done the job quite nicely. Hmm. Anyway, doesn't matter. A great deal, my friends. It is about to become daytime, so I'm hoping the truffle will spawn in and we can start farming out a good amount of uh, blue mushrooms and hopefully get ourselves a dual containment unit by the end of the episode. And I do want to do some more battling with my summoner dudes. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing one of the end game events. Do you know what? Should we, should we do the, should we do the Martians? I think we should do the Martians. Yes. I like I like the sound of that. I'm liking the sound of that. Right. First of all, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I want my mushrooms over here. Oh, look at that. 111 of them already. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right. So, I'm going to continue doing a little bit of farming, you know, farming out mushrooms, and then maybe going to the edges of the world to try and get a Martian probe. So, I will be back fairly shortly, hopefully. Hey, the truffles just arrived. Awesome. Well, hello, Mr. Martian Probe. Go, get your buddies. Get your buddies. <laughs> and warn them of their impending doom. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. All right, let's go, friends. Let's have our dragon. Go, go, go. Oh, baby, this is going to be awesome. I'm hoping these guys will be able to take down the, the... Oh, do you know what? We forgot to use the crystal staff from the Moon Lord fight, didn't we? I've just realized that. Oh, dang. Well, that was my bad, folks. I didn't even, uh... I completely forgot. My memory let me down there, my friends. It honestly did. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh... Oh, what? What? Uh, okay! <laughs> okay! Okay! Alright! So, it's pretty evident that the Stardust Dragon Staff is an absolute badass! It just took down that freaking Martian Probe in a matter of seconds! <laughs> Oh, wow, that's amazing. Alrighty, guys, while this ponage is going on, we're going to be jumping into the question of the video, which for today comes from Chris Lowe. And this question is, if you had one item from Terraria in real life, what would it be? Without any shadow of a doubt, that would have to be the magic mirror, because it would save so much time. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, dragon? Uh, dragon? Come on. Pwn him. Pwn him. There we go, buddy. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so good. But yeah, Magic Mirror. It saved me so much time. It will basically eradicate the need for one journey for every single time you travel. You know what I mean? Because you'd never have to travel home. You could just TP right home. You know what I mean? I think that'd be pretty damn badass. You know? I mean, yeah, you'd still have to do your thing and you'll have to walk or go to wherever you need to go. But at the same time, you can just, uh, you can just TP home, man. That'd be badass. Like, you could be halfway across the world and you could still take everything and just go home. It's amazing. But, yeah, that would have to be my answer to that question. <laughs> my dragon! My dragon is badass! It's unbelievable! And he just keeps going! He doesn't stop! <laughs> There's another one! <laughs> okay! Um... I don't think there's any doubt on the matter at this point, my friends. The the dragon staff is an absolute baller. He's a badass. There's just no denying it now. Good freaking lord. But yeah, I'm going to pass that question of the video to you guys. If you had one item from Terraria in real life, what would it be and why? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, guys, if you have any suggestions for the question of the video segment, be sure to leave them in the comments area below. And you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Hmm. Do you know what? I'd quite like to try the Moon Lord again, actually. I really would. I want to see if I can't actually do this thing. So, yeah. Episode end goals. We're going to try and get the Drill Containment Unit. And we're also going to try and take down the Moon Lord with our Summoner set. So, yeah. 
That's what's going to happen, and it's going to be awesome. Damage per second is, like, ridiculous right now. It just is. Xeno popper right there. Awesome stuff. Uh, oh, they've all been defeated. Oh, well, that was easy. I mean, I don't even need to do anything, man. I'm pretty just running around. I'm just running around just legging it. <laughs> I was completely in utter madness. Yeah, you know, attributed to the Martian Madness name, I guess. That's completely right or right there. God damn. Okay, so we just got ourselves like millions and millions of drops for doing absolutely nothing apart from flying around and letting my dragon do all the work. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that, folks. Alright, so, uh, once again, we're going to do a bit of uh, mushroom farming and then we'll do the cultist fight. Well, good day to you, sir. Auto hammer, please. I thank you. One platinum, man. That is so expensive. It really is. Uh, do you sell anything else, actually? Uh, dark blue solution. Uh, nothing really worthy to our cause. I mean, the blue solution could perhaps help us with our farming. But I did some calculations and we only need... We need 40. We need 40 bars, which means 600 mushrooms, okay? We need 600 of them, and we're about to hit halfway already, so we're doing pretty well, and I don't really think we're going to need it, to be honest. So, yeah, let's keep going. Oh, hello, cultists. Hi. Go on, buddy. Do your work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to do anything, man. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna let the dragon do everything, because that's pretty much what he's been doing anyway. I mean, he's right, he's dead right now. Huh. That was, uh, that was really difficult, man, let me tell you. It's a disco party. I've been here. Oh, it is a disco. Oh, I died. Huh. Well then. Oh, man. Tell you what, the lower defense of the summoner set means you need to really try and avoid the guys just that little bit more carefully, huh? Uh... What? I was nowhere near the dang place! How come my mind goes numb now? I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm not even gonna lie right now. Oh, it was this thing doing all the damage. Right, I get you now, man. I get you. Oh, man. Dudes, the soda pillar against summoner. That is rough, man. That is rough, and it's also very difficult. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might have to do the ye olde method of just dipping in and out of the area until the, uh, until the shield goes down. Oh, buddy. The solar pull is down, folks. Oh, baby, baby. I'm feeling good about that one. Hey, man. I mean, two deaths. Eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Pretty much just whatever. We still took him down real nice. All right, let's get back home. And let's take down the other two. There we go, my friends. The Vortex Pillar has been taken down by far and away the easiest one so far. Not a single death there, my friends. So, yeah. Got one more to do. Ah, darn it. Eh, oh well. Let's just get back to it, shall we? There we go, my friends. The final pillar has just been taken down. Let's grab these things really quick. And let's get the hell out of here. Holy crap. Oh, that got a bit close, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, okay. So, I've sacrificed the lightning boots for my charm of myths this time. Am I, what I'm hoping is that will be enough to, uh, to shield me against the dude. The dude, I tell you. The dude. Alright, uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, I'm not going to lie to you guys. So, <laughs> yeah. Do we cheese it or do we not cheese it? I want to see just how badass my peeps are though. That's the only thing. So, hmm. <laughs> the decisions, the decisions, man. I don't know, we got buffs. Alright, and I've got iron skin potions, which I prepped. So, I am going to put down this crystal staff dude. Boom, right there. And we're going to buff ourselves. And we're going to see just what we can do, basically. Alright, here we go. Come on, buddy. Let's see just how good we can do. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> can this be a speed kill, perhaps? Because that'd be badass. Alright, go on. Go on, take out his top eye. There you go, buddy. Wow, look at the damage he's doing. Like, half health already for him. Holy crap, man. I mean, god damn. Just goddamn. That is craziness. Alright, let's just have ourselves a bit of health right here, my friends. I'm really not fussed about if we cheese or not. I still need to try and get the SDMG, of course, my friends. It's something that needs to happen. 
All right, and now we go for his bottom part, and he's just gonna get destroyed, basically. Where's the thing? There it is. All right, look at that. 17, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1, dead. <laughs> oh, that's badass. Holy crap. Come on, man. SDMG. SDMG. We still haven't got it yet, man. We still haven't got the SDMG. Can it be today? Can it be today? What is that? We've got a Lunar Flare. That's a new drop. I haven't got that one before. Nice. And some Luminite. Celestial Lunar Flare. Oh, it's like a star wrath just with a book, isn't it? That's kind of that's kind of cool. All right, so we have 488 mushrooms. We need a little bit more, and we should be good to go, man. Come on, just a little bit more, like 120 or so. We need 600 mushrooms in order to do this thing, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to do it. We're up to 552. We could head underground to get some more. In fact, that's probably exactly what we're going to wind up doing. All right, 567, man. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Well, we've wound up with 595, and here's the one that should tip us over. There we go, my friends. Let's do this thing. Oh, my God, we're actually going to do this. We're going to make ourselves the dual containment unit for the very, very first time. And 40 is what we need. 40 is what we have. Let's go home. Let's do this thing. All right, is it made at the anvil? Oh, my God, it is. Holy crap. Holy crap, Holy! Holy crap, Holy! Holy crap, Holy! Oh, right, here we go. Oh my God, dude! Look at him, man! He's so badass. I made I made it black because uh, it's 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 just cool. It's just cool. Look at it, man! My armor. This thing looks badass. Oh, right, here we go. What? Oh my God, guys! <laughs> First ever time making the Drunken Damon unit, my friends. Today is a momentous occasion. Look at the blooming... It's tearing through everything. My God. Like, literally all of our farming days are over. We could just, like, just tear through the entire world with this. God damn. But anyways, guys, on that note, it is time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and, of course, you're excited for more, be sure to drop a like. It'll be much appreciated. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. And what have we learned today? That the summoner set and the summoner stuff are absolute badass. The dragon is badass, the armor is badass, everything is badass. And I'm looking forward to the next episode where we will be taking on the role as a ranger. So yes, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.